Hey guys, it's Isabel Bedoya here. Welcome back to my channel. For those that don't know who I am, I just said it. It's Isabel Bedoya. In today's video, I'm gonna be recreating Ariana Grande. As y'all can tell from these big ass freaking ponytails, I don't know how she does it because I've had this on for like two hours and I'm already like, like my head is about to fall off. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and get ready to recreate this look that's super, super easy. Super, super easy. Okay, so first I'm gonna start off with skincare because her skin is just everything. My skin is kind of going through it right now. I've been traveling a lot, and you guys know that the recycled air in the airplane really messes you up. So if you ever break out or your skin is just extra something dry, oily, just know it's from the recycled air in the plane. There's an explanation behind that. Little fun fact. Okay, so to start off, I'm gonna be using the Timmy Superfood cleanser obviously i've been using it and it's really really good it has matcha turmeric and sea kelp which helps your face feel super soft nourished and hydrated which is what juice. i've been needing lately um so this really has been helping me getting my skin back to normal so i'm gonna um wet my face real quick there's a step two to this because i really really want my skin to be like okay my skin's nice and wet this is how the product looks I love how thick it is. I don't know why, I just, I have a thing for like thick products because I just love the way it applies to my face. Mm, and it smells so yummy. It's like nice and natural. It's actually plant-based, which I prefer for my um, skincare products. And the reason why I'm cleaning my face is because I filmed three makeup looks yesterday and I know I still have some makeup on my face. Mm -hmm. This little finger really comes in handy. I see it, I like it. Y'all can see the little matcha particles. <clears throat> Y'all can see it's not running too fast, so it's a nice, thick product that will layer your skin so good. I'm trying to think about what this smells like. I feel like it smells like green apple with like a hint of like something citrusy slowly but surely this cleanser has really been helping my skin get back to normal because it's so dry right now and i hate using things on my face like cleansers that make my face feel drier i hate that i'll be right back i'm gonna just wash it off okay i washed it off and you guys can see the natural glow that my face has it's just it just puts me together it is a sponsorship but only because i love the products like look how good my skin looks it's so nice and glowy it feels so freaking soft i just pulled that so hard <laughs> but let me show you guys up close you guys see like the natural glow it got i just love it it's so silky mm -hmm. and this is why i told y'all i prefer plant-based cruelty free cleansers because it didn't leave me red at all, you guys can see. Okay, next up, I'm gonna mask. Reason why we cleanse first and then we're gonna mask is because if your skin is dirty or has something from during the day or whatever, you wanna make sure, like this is your pore, and you wanna make sure, let me give a right, you know, presentation here. So let's say this is your pores. <laughs> Welcome to class. I'm about to teach y'all something. Let's say this is your pores and you apply a mask over that. You know, you want the mask to go deeper than that. So this is why we used the cleanser first because we want to cleanse the skin and then we want to mask so it could just penetrate deeper if that, that does make sense. Next up, we're going to mask with the beauty mask by Timmy and this right here is fire. This really like completes the whole balancing the skin back to your regular balance. I don't wanna say pH balance because I know that's like another balance. So I don't know what balance is the face, but the balance of the face. This one, I don't know how to explain this mask. Every time I wear it, I try to guess what it is and I, I can't put my finger on it. You guys could apply this with your finger or with a mask brush and a little bit does go a long way. Since my skin has been extra dry, this extra step will really help. This mask has butterfly flower in it, 
which is fire to basically again rejuvenate and restore your skin or just make it better than what it is a little bit goes a long way i think i put too much right there yeah i don't really break out but it's always going to keep up with your skincare anything can trigger your face to get off balance like literally anything the wind the weather the temperature in your house all that for those that want to know how the mask feels it feels very lightweight it feels soft it's like very like cushiony i don't know how to explain it like we're gonna wait for it to dry. I wait like 10, 15 minutes. And you could slowly feel it dry. And now we wait 10, 15 minutes. I also have a discount code for you guys if you are interested in the mask or the cleanser, either or. I got y'all. This is my third time. This is my third time. This is my third time using the mask. This is my second time. Yeah, this is my second time. This is my second time using the mask and I haven't had issues with it. That's why I said leave it 10 to 15 minutes. I don't like to overdo it because you just never know and I'm already dry. So I don't want to risk it, but it, it, it doesn't feel drying at all. You can usually feel when a mask is drying up your skin. This one doesn't make me feel that way. I just feel soft and like feathery on my skin. <laughs> This is how the mask looks dried up. It's not really cracking. I mean, you know, if I talk, obviously it's gonna um, start to crack a little bit, but usually masks that dry you up really start cracking even before you move your face. And you guys can see here, it's like rubbery. So when I said it's like soft, like cushiony, this is exactly what I mean, the way it's like drying, like, like cushiony, like a little How does the cushion sound go? Okay, whatever. I'm gonna go and wash this off and I'll be right back. My AC is being so loud right now and I try to turn it off. It's not working. So, mask is off. I mean, y'all can see it. Like, I can see it. I can feel it. Ooh. It feels so smooth. Like, if you guys do get the mask, you will know exactly what I'm talking about. I just love how it makes that the tip of my nose really like where my pores feel tighter and my skin just feels ready for makeup and you guys could really like know what i'm talking about when i say how soft it feels hold up samantha She's organizing the tell her to come really quick oh wait you come i'm not even playing like dude you're still filming yeah i'm still filming come touch my skin with the back how does it feel? Nice and smooth and soft. I wanna mm. feel, I wanna feel. Feel it. It is so warm. Feel so what? Warm? Yeah. What else does it feel like? Um, well, your hands are, why are they so sticky? Cause he's eating. <laughs> he's eating. Oh, it's really soft. Uh-huh. It's really soft. Told I will also be leaving a link to the product on my description box and you guys can just go get it Make sure to use my code to save money Do not pay full price for it because I'm hooking y'all up This is why I'm doing this video with them because I really 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 love their products And I feel everyone should try them because we all deserve this soft ass skin I'm just gonna do my base off camera super simple you know actually let me show y'all the picture i'm recreating first i actually did a poll on instagram and a lot of people i think 97 or 98 percent of you said yes to recreate so i had to recreate it even though this is hurting this is the look that i will be recreating the foundation is pretty simple you, you could just do your regular foundation i'm gonna be focusing more on the eyes and the lippy so i'll be back Okay, so now let's start the eyes. We're gonna use the new Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Eye Base. This moisturizes, smooths, and primes, and hydrates. Oh, but basically this is the sister or cousin to their moisturizer and primer, which they're very well known for. This one right here, I just used it um, for my face. I'm just gonna grab a little bit. This finger comes so clutch, I'm telling y'all. I usually have really dry eyelids, so I didn't know there was like such thing as this. I know there's like a primer, but it's like moisturizing. You know when you do an eye look and it looks crusty? This is my first time using it, by the way, so I, I don't know if it's gonna work, but I put the smallest amount and it's so rich. Even the packaging is rich. Okay, Bobbi Brown. little ASMR moment. All right, the eyes are moisturized, and as y'all saw in her look, she has like a, she has like a white 
eyeshadow, but with rhinestones and stuff and a liner. So I don't want everything to be white. So I'm just gonna grab some, I can't find anything. <laughs> Grabbing some bronzer and I'm kind of just packing it on the top area of the, of the lid. Okay, so I'm just gonna grab the pinky nose, no name. I'm gonna call it Casper. I'm just gonna create a base. And the white base is so the white eyeshadow just sticks. I'm gonna blend it out with this small beauty blender. I'm gonna wet it. Butterfly. Ooh, vocals. I've used that product before, but I've never like just really checked out how it worked. Like I just apply it. Yeah, I'm just gonna blend it with my finger. Maybe it's just one of those, one of those products that just work better with the warm. Not gonna lie, the product is very, I wouldn't say hard to blend because it blended pretty good, but it like dries quick on the skin. It turned gray, but it's all good. Um, I'm gonna grab any white eyeshadow, literally any, on a packing brush. Where's my packing brush? Okay, nice and clean. We're just gonna pack it. I'm not really, and don't drag me for this, I live for Ariana, but I don't really listen to her music. My friends were really shocked that I was doing this. They're very big Ariana fans. <laughs> They're like, girl, you better sell the fantasy. I'm like, I'm trying, y'all, like, I'm trying. Ooh, she's patchy. Now that that's done, let's move on. Now we're gonna go in with this liner by Cami. It's one of my favorites right now. It's super jet black. Her wing, cause my wing be different. I'm trying to mimic this. Okay, so it starts kind of from like the middle of the eye out. It's like a little baby wing. So I'm gonna start from here. And she doesn't have it straight. She kind of just has it like a little loopy moment. So I'm just gonna do that. It's so little, I'm not used to doing liner this little oh my god this is so baby that's so baby okay yeah let's let's leave it like that i think she does have a inner cut eye moment Bitch, I feel like Ari already. Whew. Okay, so starting from here. Ew, that little swoop bothers me. That little like... These look so different. Okay, well I... Mm, no, it's not fixed. I'm just gonna match... Yeah, I'm gonna match... Oh my god, no. Oh my god, I just made that one bigger. That's gonna bother me so bad. Whatever. Whatever. Okay, so I was looking at the picture and it kind of looks, it may not be because the, I went to the makeup artist's Instagram page, couldn't find exactly what lashes they were, but they kind of mimic these Lux by the lashes. You guys can use Isabel at checkout to save on that. I'm about to pop these on. I keep forgetting I have to do the writing stones. So hold on. I got my rhinestones right here. I got this at Amazon. It comes with different, like different sizes. I was gonna say shapes. I'm gonna do one of the eyes off camera and then come back and show y'all the results. First, let's blush because I feel, I feel pale. This is the Dragon Beauty face palette. And you could also use Isabel at check out to save and i also used her um highlighting powder for under my eyes this is my favorite blush it's so pretty like i could never get over this blush i'm gonna use sweet tea for the lips for the lips i'm gonna go in with the dose of color campfire shade it kind of looks with, like what she's wearing let me just make sure before i put this on mm, it doesn't it actually looks a little lighter I really thought I had something going there. Ooh, oh, I'm so lucky it's right here. I don't gotta go look for it. Okay, so switching that around, we're gonna go in with Nude Chica by Still, Dose of Colors.
I usually let it dry and then I pat it down with my little finger. And no shade at all, but it's kind of not that blended. So I'm gonna mimic that. And then we're mimicking the not, the not blended lip. Okay, so now I'm gonna do one of the eyes off camera and I'll be back. Okay, so I did this eye. Why are my eyes getting red? I slept two hours last night. I did this eye not precisely because they have actually really, really tiny ones like here. And I guess mine don't go that small. This is like my version to it, but it looks like it from far away. If you're not staring too hard, it looks like it. So I'm gonna just go ahead and do the other eye on camera. It's okay if it doesn't come out symmetrical, but we're gonna try. For the stones, I'm using glue, regular lash glue. We're gonna follow the little line. And I like to do three at a time. This glue is low key, like perfect for this cause it's nice and thick and like dry. So I can see where I'm laying the drops. And you gotta be quick with it. Here I have the smallest ones I have and they're so freaking tiny to grab. It's coming together. This look has taken so long. I know it doesn't look like it because I cut it, you know, like the editing, but this look has taken me about four, four hours. Here I switch the shape, the shape, I was about to say the shape, the uh, size, bruh. And then we go back to the regular size, which I low key wish I would have done all like little ones. And then towards the end, the bigger one, but it is what it is. So I'm just gonna, you know. And y'all don't have to do it how I'm doing it. Just go according to your eye shape, you know, the way your eye curves. Cause she had a little bit different too. And I, and I switched it up a little bit cause just my eye shape is different. A little longer than a few minutes later. Okay, so this is how they look. I feel like they look like the ones in the picture. I added some mascara and now the last step. Finally, like almost five hours later, setting spray. All right guys, so this is the final look. Thank you guys for watching. You guys can literally see how tired I am in my eyes. But it was worth it because this looks so good. I'm feeling very much like Ariana. Let me know under the comments if you guys like this look. If you guys want me to recreate any other look. You guys could also DM me on Instagram. It's right here. I always check my DMs. So just send me a little picture and I always screenshot and like I keep it saved in a separate folder for recreation moments like this if you guys enjoyed this look the tutorial just everything with it and my struggle <laughs> give this video a thumbs up make sure you guys hit that subscribe button all right y'all i'm gonna see you in the next one